First at 10, pepper spray on the playground. A student found it outside and sprayed it, hitting other children. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Parents are speaking out tonight about demanding answers from the school. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell is live at Steenland Elementary in Roseville. And Alan, what's the superintendent saying about this? Well, Glenda, the superintendent is saying that the school actually did what was right in this situation. However, parents not agreeing with the superintendent. In fact, they took to social media immediately after this incident. Now, it happened today around noon at this playground behind me here. We're told several children were affected, but they are expected to be OK. But parents say more school supervision is needed. So something like this doesn't happen again. Full panic, like just crazy. I don't even know how to feel right now. My main concern was what if it would have been a gun? Parents are upset after finding out their children were pepper sprayed by another student on the playground at Steenland Elementary in Roseville. My son told me that the kid took the pepper spray and started spraying it everywhere and it got into some kids' eyes. Parents were contacted immediately by school officials after the incident happened. The superintendent says the student did not spray the pepper spray directly at other students. Students affected were also let go from school early, but parents are concerned and feel more needs to be done by the school. My problem is like, where is a 10 year old getting pepper spray from? What's going on with the supervision? Superintendent Mark Blazkowski telling 7 Action News they're not sure how the pepper spray got onto the playground and says the school principal handled the situation thoroughly. Blazkowski also says student safety is their number one priority and the district looks at situations like this to help teach kids to make good decisions and keep students safe. Action needs to be taken not only talking to the parents, but talking to the students also on protecting themselves. What if they do find something like this? If another child sees somebody doing something like this, that action needs to be taken. And as for Mary's son, we're told he is doing a lot better tonight. Law enforcement as well, they are not going to be getting involved with any type of investigation. But we did ask the superintendent if the student who sprayed that pepper spray would be facing any disciplinary action. The superintendent wouldn't comment. Reporting live tonight in Roseville, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. All right, Alan, thank you for the live report. Coming